the the the, the painting. Hey. Hey. Happy 2022 everyone! Today I'm going to be trying on all of the things that I made last year and kind of just reflecting on my sewing journey through the course of 2021. So I ended up sewing 21 different garments. That's nuts. I thought I'd like struggle to hit 12 at one a month and I've like way surpassed that and reflecting on my like my ability sewing the fact that I've invested in some really good tools and that it's something I genuinely love doing like I found a hobby that I really like I've already got like six other projects I've already started and haven't completed one is sitting whatever could it be I've got at least another six that are just the fabric sitting there ready to be made but that's all right we'll get to them construction workers were yelling, hold on. It's kind of sad they have to work on a Saturday. I hope they're getting paid well. I'm just going to try on the clothes that I made and have a little chat about what I like and things that I can maybe improve upon for my sewing this year. Cheers! I love this dress. I think this was the dress that... There were two dresses that really stand out to me this year that I made and I'm really, really proud of. This is one of the two of them. I'm always someone who's kind of self-conscious about the shape of my body, and this one I feel like accentuates the softness of my body. But like, I don't know, I just feel like really cute in it, and I still have all this dress out. And that sucks, so if any of my friends are watching, let's go somewhere and do something so I can wear this dress out. I think the reason I'm particularly proud of this dress is the quality of the make of the dress. I think it is one of the best sewn garments that I've ever made. It's fully lined, so it's incredibly comfortable to wear. Like, when we're putting it on, I've got Ellie to zip me into it. And like, when she zipped in, it was like everything like, molded to my body as she zipped in. And it just like, it is incredibly comfortable. It is so fun. Like, Australian native birds, and it's pink, and it's pretty. And I love that I've got made this optional detail here, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to wear this most of the time that I am wearing the dress, but it's just really pretty. This is the last thing I sewed last year and it's just a red velvet, a really cute, simple, short length dress with a sleeve and a bonnet that I made for my work Christmas party. Uh, and I made this a week Oh, well, not even a week, it was like six days or something before our work Christmas party because I basically wanted to show off and prove that I can do more than just answer phones. Literally everyone I spoke to was like, you made that dress? I was like, yeah, I made this dress. The bow detail here was the main thing that I wanted to incorporate. The sleeve of this one, I cut it out because I literally had like, it was my last bit of fabric and I was like, look, if the sleeve doesn't work out and we'll just have like a, a short sleeve and it'll be fine. I cut the sleeve out and it was like perfect on the first cut. Probably could be a little bit longer in the shoulder area there. It's pretty bloody perfect. It is so, so comfortable. I love, love, love the velvet. I love the way that the light interacts with the fabric itself. Next dress. Number three is this gorgeous tartan number. Halfway through last year, I had four dresses that I wanted to make. So this is one of them. And it was like, I thought of like the idea of like tartan flannelettes that like a scarecrow would wear, but something that was a bit more Halloween-y. Um, and so I was looking for orange and black tartan, but I found this fabric which had the blue in it. And I loved it. Like I instantly, instantly loved it. It was on Spoonflower. Um, so Spoonflower is not the cheapest way to buy uh, your fabrics. And I ended up buying, I thought I was just gonna get like a kind of lightweight fabric, but this is actually, it's like a canvas. So it's a really heavy fabric, which in terms of like the dress, like the top part of the dress is really good because the thicker fabric can hold the structure. But in terms of the skirt, like it is not the comfiest of dresses with the fabric and I don't feel like it's got a little gather here around um, the waist which is also sitting just a little bit too high so it really is kind of more <laughs> you know what Selkie blew up this year and they have that high 
um, waist section, but like way more fluff. So let's just say that I was following the trends that were happening in the fashion world and not that I made a mistake. I took a vote for how to finish the skirt uh, on my private one. They said just to gather it like I did at the waist, but I followed, my gut instinct was to do pleats and I think the pleats turned out oh, just beautiful and I love the finish of it. Whilst it's something that did take a long, long time, I absolutely love the result that it finished with. This is another dress that I have not had the chance to wear out and about. And it's not one I'm gonna to wear to work because it is not the most comfortable for when you're sitting in a chair uh, all day. So friends, let's go out again so I can wear another dress that I've made. Next dress! It has started thunderstorming outside, so there's probably gonna be some light changes. It's like the construction workers have gone home for the day, so that's a good thing for them. I guess they get our weekend back. This is outfit number four. Uh, so I have a video of this one on the channel, and it's something like, I have mixed feelings about this one. It was one I made on a whim, more as a chance to kind of practice some skills, and there's some things that I like about it. I did piping down here, making it and constructing it for the first time. I did an overlay of lace on the side part of the bodice of this one here. I think the look of it all together is good, but, because this fabric is so soft, along here on the lacing bit, it doesn't hold its structure very well. So you can see where it's meant to be like significantly longer and more shapely. Considering this was like a spur of the moment, just throw it together, I'm okay with it. This shirt that I had just sitting around, I think works lovely with it. It would be good if it was like a little more off-white skirt itself. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it's just a really beautiful skirt. I love the, the lace along the bottom. I think it's a really good piece to have in my wardrobe, something I can wear as a costume piece or as a just an everyday fashion piece if I want to. Um, the fabric's really comfortable. I'm gonna probably be using these sheets again because I think the way that they look is beautiful. I think this would be a really fun like petticoat to have on like a, a larger costume piece. Even though the, the top's a bit of a disappointment, the fit overall is good, it's constructed well. I got to play with like leather cord for the first time. But yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna try uh, producing uh, a corset style top again this year. Uh, but I'll try different shapes and um, a bit more structure. Next outfit. This is the next piece I made, this skirt. I followed a rosary apparel tutorial for it. Now, <laughs> Maybe I should have ironed it before putting it on on camera. My plan was to wear this a lot more often than I have. I do still adore the colour, but the particular fabric it's made out of, it is so thick up in this ruffled section. And like, I'm already pretty thick set around the middle. I don't really want more added to that section that is there, but it is really comfortable. I probably should wear it more often, even if it's just around the house because this is a really pretty colour. Next one! This dress is probably the only fail I would give myself from last year. Now at the time, it fit beautifully. Right now, I am like a stuffed zucchini so badly, like I have ripped the whole entire back seam. Uh, of this dress. Uh, my butt could not fit into this dress at all unless I let it out. I did the uh, just the facing instead of an entire internal lining. This dress is just a bit of a failure for me to be honest. Um, I feel so uncomfortable wearing it. I like the idea of it. It's beautiful. Like It's a really pretty design. It just doesn't fit me at all. My boobs I'm sucked in so bad, it's choking me around the waist, my stomach, I just don't, um, my butt is hanging out the back, so I'm gonna have to do some repairs before I do anything with this dress anyway. I did learn a lot through the process of making this, so I'm not upset about the time it took to make it, but I am upset that it does not fit me remotely at all. But the good thing is, I bought more of this fabric because I loved it so much, so I'm gonna make myself something new. and something that doesn't make me feel really uncomfortable. Next dress. This one isn't even for me, and it doesn't really fit me. I am completely full 
falling out of this dress. This was not made for me. I made this for Ellie. This is for a series of dresses I am still working on. I don't know when they're going to get done, but it is on my to-do list. And this is kind of one of the first dresses where I felt really, I made the pattern completely myself. I made it for another person. This is the first garment I've ever made for another person. This was made for my sister Ellie, um, inspired by Belle. So it's got this, this detailing along the bottom, uh, which it reminded me of the ruffles in Belle's skirt. It's got the ruffle along the bottom and the ruffle along the top, off the shoulder like Belle's. It's made out of cheesecloth. It's a fabric I've never used before and ever since I finished this I've wanted to buy some more and make something for myself. Um, there is definitely a change in the quality from this dress to some of the other dresses that I have made later in the year which I think is actually an amazing, amazing thing. So if I wore a belt, I could probably make this work. Do you have a brown belt? I put a light on because with the wet weather outside it's getting a bit gross. So. Sorry about the continuity error there. Um, I just put a little belt on to wear with this one and I think that if I wanted to wear this dress, I can now wear it because I think that looks really cute. Um, I did like a little bit of elastic gathering around the waist, but that was not my most successful thing because the bodice that I created um, didn't have any give in it. So it kind of just is what it is. I don't even know if this will actually fit Ellie anymore, but it is really beautiful. Um, and so maybe it can be a hand me down to me. A dress I made, handed down to me. I would like to make um, some more in this style and some more in this fabric uh, for myself. Especially after the last dress that I wore, I love how loose fitting it is on me and that I can breathe in that dress. Yellow is a color I think just like bleeds happiness. And if I do this, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it looks really pretty. Nah, you probably can't see on camera, but it flows really pretty. Um, this one as well. Next dress! I put this next piece on and decided that my body is too boobalicious for this particular shirt that I made. So we're just going to admire it from afar. And I think this one is going to be um, donated, which I'm really sad about because I made this specifically for me. Um, I ordered a bunch of stuff off Sheen. I've since learned a lot about fast fashion and I will not be ordering from them again. Every piece that I had was terribly made. It barely fit, zippers bust, it was awful. But there was one piece that I actually really, really liked and felt really pretty in up until the point where it broke after like the first or second wear when I got it. Um, and it was this tie front top similar to this. It was so beautiful, I felt so comfortable in it. So I cut it apart instead of throwing it away and made a pattern out of it. It was my first time using existing clothing to make a pattern, uh, to cut out and make it. And look, I was able to use up some scrap fabric. I used that pattern to make five different versions of this shirt. So we have the teeny tiny size 10 in this beautiful purple color, a size 12 I think I made in this gorgeous green, a size 8 in the same fabric I made my first dress on this video out of my most favorite fabric in the world. This one actually fits me the best, but I broke the zipper on it, so I need to replace the zipper. And the first one I made, which is the Sunflower shirt. Now, I haven't actually tried any of these other sizes on people who they might fit. I still need to have some friends over. My plan was to make this um, shirt in a few different colorways and styles and sell it. I don't know that I have the desire to sit and make the same thing over and over and over again. If it was a business, I can understand the process of that, but for me, it's not a business, it's a hobby. It was a really fun exercise and I was able to use up a bunch of scrap fabric that I had lying around. I'm still proud of the outcome, even though they might not be the best results. I'm really proud of the skills that I learned whilst creating these pieces, even if they don't necessarily fit. That's five different things I made um, and I made these all within a week which is just impressive for me to be honest. Next outfit. We have had a little break because my battery died. This is the next dress and I'm pretty happy with it overall. Um, there's a few design faults from me in terms of again the waist is a little bit shorter than I would have liked and the straps on the shoulders are not quite as long as I would have liked to have. I'm really happy with this accomplished my goal 
of wanting to create a dress with mint green stripes. That was my entire goal with this dress and I think it looks beautiful. I've got this tiny little summer tan and I think it actually looks really good with this dress. It makes it look better rather than my pasty ass white skin. Next dress! It needs an iron, but I'm kind of over it. Um, I'm not gonna iron. Out of all of the dresses that I have made this year, this is by far and away the one that I have worn the most. I just adore the design. The fabric is so comfortable. It is not the best dress that I've constructed this year. It is so tight around my waist here, but I feel so secure um, in the dress. So I kind of just deal with it. Getting it on is the hardest thing, but it is so incredibly comfortable. I just, I adore the fabric, I adore this linen style. For some reason I thought this wasn't going to crease as much, um, that was the opposite of true. This creases a lot and you have to iron it every single time uh, that you use it. I did on the hem, I did overlocking on the edges, a rolled hem would be so much better because then I don't have to be worried if it kind of flips and shows a little bit. I still love it. I'm still going to wear it all the time even if it isn't the most comfortable thing. I just sometimes need help getting into it. Next dress! Okay, so I lied, it wasn't a dress. It's this shirt that I made uh, one weekend. It is something I am still incredibly proud of, the overall construction of this dress. However, it is not without its faults. It is so tight around my armpits and around my arms that I just don't wear this to go out or do anything ever. It's really comfortable around here, just not um, around the arm. Maybe I'll go and loosen up the elastic uh, there one day. It's not something that's like high up on my priority list. I love the overall design. I love that it's something that didn't come from a pattern, that it was something that I just kind of made myself. I love how it looks on my body. I love the color. I love that this is one of the first dressmaking fabrics that I used that wasn't just cotton. So I love the softness and the lightness of the fabric. It's gorgeous. I just don't wear it because it gets really uncomfortable on my arms. I've worn it all of two minutes and I'm already having issues with circulation in my hands because the elastic is so tight. So not something I'm planning on giving away anytime soon because I might just make some alterations to it. Next dress. This dress is probably the one I've worn second most out of all of the ones that I've made uh, this year. I do think it's really pretty. Uh, it's pretty comfortable overall. This design here, I just don't think this is the best thing with those who are more busty. I think that those who have a less full chest, this would be really pretty, but I find that because the gathering is only designed to go in this kind of semicircular shape across the bust, I find that it just looks silly when I've already got so much roundness in that area. I still think it's really comfortable to wear. The fabric is gorgeous. This fabric came from, you see, Rose Fabrics, I think it's called. It is very, very comfortable. It is beautiful, but I do have my qualms about the um, design on my particular body shape. Next dress. This is another one we've got. A video up on my channel and I still love this dress so much. I've not worn it a lot because I wore it to work one day and one of my colleagues went, oh you've got the girls out today and whilst I feel really comfortable in the dress itself, I didn't want to make any of my work colleagues feel uncomfortable so I haven't worn it again to work but I really should wear it out more. I really love it. It's even cute with like a little belt on it. I love how full the skirt is. I love the gathering across the bust. I love the fit of it. Um, it is incredibly comfortable. It is one of the few dresses that I can get on and off without the need um, for Ellie to zip me in or out of the dress. But I don't think like wearing it on camera does justice to it either. I think it's a, a really stunning piece. This is also one I'm really proud of because I made the pattern myself and I didn't uh, use anyone else's mind power, just my own, to make it. Even though you can't see everything, you can definitely see the swell factor of this dress. And I love it. Next dress! Right, the next 
outfit isn't a dress actually. <laughs> it's a two-piece. And there are pros and cons uh, with this one. Now, again, I've had the same issue with this zip. Has busted on this one as well, even though there's not actually like an area of pressure. So it's the same brand of zip I used on the yellow sunflower shirt that busted, so that's an issue. I tried incorporating the zip right next to where I've got the pocket here, and to be honest, I just hate the way it looks. Like I really hate it, because the zipper pulls the pocket open. So instead of it being just a hidden area, like on this side, it's it's wide, it's busted wide open. So not really happy with that outcome there. I worked really hard to align all of the stripes here with where the pleats I've got in the skirt. So that is something I do really enjoy. And the shirt is one that's got a lace up back. And this is something I think I'm gonna try way more in 2022 because the zippers, like as we've experienced, with a lot of the dresses today, I really struggle to zip them up over my waist and my bust. Whereas something that is a tie up, I'll be able to do that myself. And this is another one of the Halloween inspired ones where I was following that kind of Jack Skellington black and white strut vibe. And we also see it in Beetlejuice. So I wanted to take that concept, but I used the chevron stripes instead. And to be honest, I think the overall outfit itself is a bit of a banger. I really love it, but I tend not to wear it as a cord piece. I'll either wear the top or I'll wear the skirt because it is a lot. Basically, if we took away this entire section here, I would love this outfit. It's fun, it's a statement piece, but again, this is that canvas material that I made out of the orange gingham and the mint stripe dress. So it is quite unforgiving in terms of the skirt, but it's great for the more structured pieces like the top. I can see my progress as a sewer and designer throughout the year. And this one was kind of still at the starting point, but getting progressing a little bit more from pieces like the yellow bell dress, where I started thinking of more logistics, things that were a bit more, you know, wearable and doable and things that could challenge me a little bit more. I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of the overall piece, to be honest, but I do still really enjoy it. <gasps> we are onto the final dress now. The final dress that I made uh, in 2021. And this is the last of the dresses I made for myself in 2021. This is my absolute favourite dress that I made this year. The fabric is just divine. It's so pillowy, it is so comfortable. I can easily get it on and off, which after some of the challenges and some of these dresses is something I am so grateful for to be finishing on on this one. I have not gotten nearly as much wear out of it as I would have liked. Um, I think if I was still at my previous job where wearing black was a requirement of the job, even though this has the gold um, incorporated into it, I would have 100% been wearing this um, in my store that I was managing. I love how comfortable it is, how it interacts with the light. Looking back on everything that I've made, a real turning point I feel in my sewing from where I kind of really started thinking about the construction and the wearability of a garment. It's made really well, like every single seam is finished. There's only a couple in the joins here with the elastic uh, on the waist that weren't the best. But without doing this, I couldn't have had practice for some of the other garments that I've created since this particular one. I wouldn't have changed a thing in the creation of this dress. I absolutely love it. I would like to continue making more in this style. So we'll see if I can get some different types of fabrics because I do love the pillowy puffy sleeves. The only downside I can think of is I made the length of the sleeves like too long on the arms. I think I would make it a bit shorter next time just so that I don't get that as much sag uh, in the middle of the sleeves. But overall, like you're not gonna be holding your arms out like this. So it doesn't really matter. Now the very last piece I haven't shown here is one that I made for Ashley for Christmas. It is a blue gingham skirt I made for Christmas for her, constructed using a circle skirt around the waist and then a gathered uh, rectangle for the rest of it. It was a design that I wanted to make a full dress for her, but considering it was a gift, I thought a skirt would be much easier to alter to her. And it turns out I made it pretty well. Um, it fits really well, she loved it. It made me feel really good because when I made the bell dress, that was the first piece I've made for someone else. 
but I had Ellie living with me so she could try it and fit it on the whole way through. With this one, because it was a gift, I kind of just made it in secret and gifted it, hoping it would fit on the day, and it did. And it was funny, because it actually, she was wearing a blue skirt on the day, so she just wore my one instead. So that is everything I made in 2021. It's a lot, that's a lot of hours that I've spent huddled on the ground, pitting myself with pins, huddled over the sewing machine. There is so much progress in myself as a sewer, I see when looking at these garments. I love that I've not stuck to the same colour or pattern, that there's so much variety in terms of the fabrics that I've chosen to create the different looks. I can only say positive things about myself. Yes, there were some fails, especially trying them on uh, months later in terms of sizing and stuff. I probably won't be keeping everything that's here. I'll be giving some of the things um, a new home, but I'm really proud of everything I accomplished sewing-wise. I hope that everyone who's watching had an amazing new year. Thank you so much for watching um, my video diary of my sewing journey. I do appreciate the support. If you'd like, you can subscribe and continue watching me on my sewing journey. I've got a lot that I'm hoping to accomplish this year, though I'm not convinced it's going to be to the same level of production I was able to do this year. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!